In this lesson, you will learn how to add external actions through the REST API. So let's take a look what action, external actions are. Let me go into the issues module. And in the issues module, whenever you select one or multiple uh, items, entities, defects, you have the possibility to add your custom buttons in the more section or in the um, in the context menu of uh, the item itself. Um, external actions can be added through the configuration external action editor and here you can basically make use and add your actions. Uh, you can add actions um, or templates examples using the demo button. So if you uh, click on demo button you will see a couple of actions were added. You can click on update refresh the page and now your uh, issues module or the module for which you have added the action um, and validated so if you are here just click on the more option and you will see that all those actions have been added now so i have defect details uh, dialog call native app and uh, general details um, and these external actions you can basically define to uh, call a specific URL, so we have a we have a separate video on the um, or playlist on the Octane Academy where you can uh, learn about external actions and how you can add external actions using uh, Python, for instance, and consume Python to leverage and integrate data with in Octane or extract data out of Octane. So the next uh, thing is to really, once you have defined your actions, you would like to um, add them through the REST API. Maybe you uh, want to link several internal uh, links to your intranet uh, and want to add those every time a new project is created. You want to run a script using uh, REST API, which should add all those actions to the projects so basically what you can do is let's first remove all the actions we have added so update and go back so the best way to find out this is um, to open the browser uh, developer tools yeah, and navigate back to the external action editor clean up everything here, load the demo and now the moment you click on update you will see something is happening here so the entity you have to consume is external actions and on the entity you see on the bottom there is a payload uh, which is describing exactly how these external actions are working um, you could copy this payload directly from here. What I used to do is I make use of a JSON formatter. So this JSON formatter and validator, um, you can see the URL directly here. So here is the URL of this uh, JSON formatter and editor. And I paste usually the links directly here in the editor and copy it then out of here. So you can see it has now generated or formatted my JSON in a more readable way and I co and copy it and uh, change it accordingly and um, make use of Postman for now to update my external actions in ALM Octane. So let's go back. Um, I will just refresh again because I don't want to keep the demo. Okay, so it has been added. Maybe I ah, I pressed on update, so this is fine. So now I will remove the demo, update again, refresh the page. And now I go into my Postman. I'm basically using the Octane Academy uh, Postman collection. And I have here um, external action uh, folder where I can first of all get all the external actions which I have. So I can click here on um, get 
and you can see it's currently empty and the other one would be to really add external actions um, here you can see you have to do a put request and on the shared spaces directly you have to do the external entity actions uh, resource and on that resource you copy the data you have just uh, um, copied from the json validator format and validator i have here a specific configuration built for me where uh, we have some games uh, we would like to publish on the shared space um, and i can uh, do it directly from here so once you have added your uh, data here in this structure by defining the name the title the entity type where this game should appear the views in list or also in details you have the icon uh, for system um, url and if it is for single entity or multiple entities once you have defined it fire it up it should return a 200 and now if i go back into alm octane and refresh the page i should be able to see all this is populated you can see exactly the same data has flown into octane let me maybe reformat it a bit or resize postman a bit so we can see it so here you can see i have the first one is alien invention the second one is duck hunt then we have easter ski is here snake is the next one then sorades a survivor so all those actions which i have uh, or wanted to add has been added and now i can validate if this is really the case in the defect module i can right click and i can see here that those has been added into my uh, defect module and i have automated the whole process for adding the external actions one thing to consider is uh, the um, the header you have to take so i'm taking here the hpe client type like it underscore private which is basically the same header uh, from the permission uh, type as you have here in um, in the browser so let's uh, do something and you will see that there will be a header uh, which is going to collect let's see here all the fields and in the header you will find that there is the hpe client type okay this is the wrong one so here we should have it so we have here a request header with hpe client type hpe underscore mqm underscore ui um, if you use this header uh, octane will then also uh, use a license from here from postman um, so it's better to use the it underscore private header um, which will allow you to really do the same what you can do from the browser also accessing some private uh, resources of octane um, and uh, manipulate the data as you want to do it.